Hello everyone, my name is Tian Shui Sha. I'm a behavioral neurologist and a neuropsychiatrist at the Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. Those two terms have been used interchangeably like a lot. And it, it did like bring a lot of confusion to the patients, even the medical professionals. I always would like to explain to my patient that when it comes to the cognitive decline in the elderly, there are three tiers. So the first tier is what we call it as normal aging. With normal aging, our brain is getting smaller and we are becoming a little bit more forgetful and everything's taking longer for us to memorize and to learn new things as well as to like even for simple tasks as like searching for a word. The second tier is what we call is mild cognitive impairment, MCI. It is a very, very important concept. However, many people are not familiar with that. In this tier, there are beyond normal aging cognitive decline can be detected by the various cognitive testing tools. However, individual's ability to carry out everyday function remains intact. One tier below is what we call it dementia. So dementia is not a disease, but a clinical condition. When people entering the stage of dementia, that meaning patient's cognitive impairment is severe enough to affecting their ability to attend the daily activities independently. Many conditions can cause MCI and dementia. The Alzheimer's disease is just one of them. However, it is the most common one, as we know. Among those with the MCI, about 15% develop dementia after two years. On the other hand, some individuals with MCI revert to normal cognition or do not have additional cognitive decline going forward. So that meaning people with MCI sometimes do not progress. You know, they will stay at the MCI stage. Since MCI is an important intermediate stage between normal aging and dementia, identifying which individuals with MCI are more likely to develop dementia is a major goal of the current research. Brain health is highly dependent on health of the heart and the blood vessels. A healthy heart ensures that enough blood is pumped to the brain, while healthy blood vessels enable the oxygen and the nutrient-rich blood to reach the brain so it can function normally. For that being said, maintaining overall physical health and minimizing the neurovascular risk factors are essential. Well, optimized blood pressure, sugar, and cholesterol is a solid foundation to face the brain aging. Studies also showed continuous social and cognitively stimulating activities may help build cognitive reserve to compensate the decline caused by the brain aging. So for more information, please check out our website.